everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to answer a question that I get all the time and we're going to get right into it. The question is, who do I trust to do gunsmithing for me? More specifically, who do I trust to work on my AK? Uh, a lot of you guys are getting into AKs and you might not even know how to go about this topic or where to even start. And then there's some of you that have been into AKs for a long time and I'm sure you all have very strong opinions about who you should use, who you shouldn't use. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you my top five AK Smiths in this country with a couple of honorable mentions. And to keep everything honest, because this can be like a hot button topic or a very controversial topic, I'm only going to talk about gunsmiths that I have personally used and personally spent money with, uh, people that I have personally used and I was actually happy with the end product, people that conducted themselves professionally. And uh, I got exactly what I was looking for. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Before we do that, guys, if you do want to help out the channel, if you like what we do here, uh, we could definitely use some support from time to time. We don't do Patreon and we don't have ads for razors for your ball sacks. As you know, I want you to get something for your cash. And only way to do that is to go buy thirdpinthreads.com, pick up a hat, pick up a t-shirt. We have some really cool designs that are still on the website and we're always trying to come up with new fresh ideas to put on the website for you guys to all enjoy. Every hat and t-shirt that you pick up really does help us out more than you know, and I'm totally grateful for everyone that does. There's a few caveats to doing this whole thing. If you, if you have an AK and you want some work done to it, there's a, a couple of tips and tricks that I can tell you before we get into who I think you should use uh, to make the experience a little more tolerable for you. Uh, number one, don't expect one of these guys to be in your backyard where you're just gonna go drop your gun off and you know, come check on it every other weekend wondering when it's gonna get done. Uh, most of the people on this list are very spread out, as are most Smiths. Uh, one thing about AKs in particular, it's not really something that you can just trust your you know, gun shop down the street that will you know, accurize your Remington 700 or that can put an AR-15 together. That's not the guy that you should really trust to work on an AK. AK building, uh, modifying, whatever, it takes a very, a detailed set of skills and a detailed set of tools. Okay, this is not just something anyone can do. It really takes people that have taken build classes, people who have been doing this for a while, people that know how to do, you know, rivet work, barrel threading, populating and depopulating of barrels, people that have the proper presses. It takes a lot to put an AK together. It is nothing like putting an AR-15 together or swapping out the trigger on your Glock 19, not even in the same ballpark. So you really need to use people that are qualified and know what they're doing. What I'm getting at is that guy's not gonna be down the street. You have to get very comfortable and used to the idea of transferring or shipping your project to someone that might be out of state or whatever. I've done it dozens of times. It's perfectly normal, it's perfectly legal. It's perfectly safe. You can put insurance on packages. So get used to that. It's, it's, it's nothing like this is, this is normal for gunsmith to accept packages from another state, do the work and send it back, go to your FFL, pick it up. It's all kosher. It's all very safe. Another tip that I can give you, if you do find someone that you're comfortable with and they've accepted your project, they've accepted the work and you know, you send it, they have the work. I can just tell you, man, these gunsmiths are usually in very high demand. They're very busy and uh, they have very long days. They work long hours. So one thing I would not recommend, if you do allow someone to take on that project, don't bug them every weekend. Don't call weekly asking for updates. If they quote you a time and they say it's going to take this long, unless it has been that long, don't reach out. Don't keep calling, asking for questions and pictures. Don't be that guy. Okay, that gunsmith is probably working on dozens of projects all at once. Every time you reach out to them trying to get an update, especially when they're still within that window of time they gave you, it's, it can be very annoying and it can just hold up the process. So don't be that guy. When you do find someone to do this work, uh, to make it easier on them, typically what I like to do is, even though you've discussed what you want done, what the type of gun is, the price, everything, all that, anytime you send that project to them, I would still have like a piece of paper, type out exactly what you wanted done um, and just put it in the case when you send it. The reason for that is you may have discussed all this, you know, at one time, they get your gun, it goes in line with everyone else's. Eventually when they get to your project, they have to recall and remember and go back to files to see exactly what you wanted done on that gun. It might be three months before they even get to it. So it definitely helps them out. 
when they open up your case and, oh, here's a piece of paper. Oh, that's exactly what he wanted. Cool. Yep, that matches what we talked about in my files. Cool. So definitely include a piece of paper with everything that you guys talked about, the price that you agreed on, and what work is going to be done. It's just gonna make your experience better. All right, let's get into my top five list. This is in no particular order. Five is no better than one. One is no better than five. These are just the guys that I've used that I've been very happy with. So don't pay attention to the order much. We're just gonna talk about all of them. First on my list is CW Gunworks. Uh, these guys are based out of Florida, Papi Carlos. A lot of you guys probably have already heard of CW Gunworks. They are very well known in the AK world for pumping out some really fine quality AK projects. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of those guys like on the JMAC Customs channel, they do a lot of work with them and they've done really good work for us. Uh, some of the guns I can't even really talk about right now because we haven't filmed them and I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but they've done some really cool projects for us that you will eventually see on the channel and the work's always been great. They've always been super professional and their turnaround times are usually pretty quick. And when I say quick, you know, when it comes to AK smithing, a three month turnaround is quick. Like you would hope to have that kind of a turnaround, but it changes. So we're not even really gonna talk about turnaround times. You might watch this video a year from now and the turnaround time will be very different. But CW has done uh, work on guns for years at this point. They've done work for us, a lot of friends of mine. You can definitely do a quick Google search and see a ton of really high quality stuff they've done. Check out their Instagram. And what's really cool is a lot of these gunsmiths will have Instagrams where they just have a huge portfolio of work that you can see. And Carlos at CW has done a great job of documenting a lot of the projects that he's done. So it really speaks for himself. They do in-house seracoding, a lot of really, really nice stuff. So they come highly recommended in my book. That's CW Gunworks out of Florida. Next up on my list is Lee Armory. A lot of you guys that have been to AKs for a long time, this is no surprise. You've all heard of Lee Armory. Uh, Lee Armory has been around for years and they're really better known for making batches of AKs, batches of AKMs, 74s, RPKs. Uh, their stuff's been available all over the place from various dist uh, distributors. However, not a lot of people know that they do take on like one-off custom projects. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think they just make AKs and they move those AKs. They do custom projects and Lee Armory has gone through a lot of changes uh, over the past several years and they've been really, really good changes. They've got some gunsmiths there that are highly talented and highly motivated. My boy Mario. Uh, in fact, you've all seen my AK-74 video that was put together by Lee Armory, personally put together by Mario uh, Parada at Lee Armory. He's a good friend of mine and his work is awesome. He's really making a, a name for himself in the AK world for being a gunsmith that is starting to be in very high demand. And Lee Armory is starting to be in high demand for custom projects. Uh, they're based out of Phoenix, Arizona. So I would highly recommend Lee Armory if you do have a custom project. I don't know what their wait times are like, um, don't know. But what I can tell you is they've put together a very nice kit for me and that gun shoots the daylights out. I've even taken that gun to a second place finish at Kalashnikov on iron sights, shooting out to 600 yards. They just put together a really straight, really clean gun and the finish was very nice. Couldn't be happier with it. So they come very well recommended for me. Check out Lee Armory. Next up on the list is Iron Curtain Customs. These guys are based out of Houston, Texas. And you know, every now and again, you'll come across a gunsmith that's really well known for like one thing. And Iron Curtain does all kinds of gunsmithing, not just AKs, but they're making waves. I mean, they are exploding on the Galil scene right now. In fact, they even make their own variant of a Galil. What's special about it is they make a stamped receiver uh, that you can couple with the Galil parts kit. And uh, we all know that Galil's, you know, they're built with milled receivers. So they can actually provide a stamped receiver. <laughs> they will build you a 762 by 39 Galil that also takes AK mags. It's super cool. No one else is doing anything like that. And uh, it's very special. They have personally put together a ton of projects for us. You know, I have an FFL that I co-own called AKX LLC. That's the AK experience. And we have a whole bunch of cool machine guns and cool stuff in that in that collection. And Iron Curtain has done a ton of work uh, on those guns and they've done a very, very good job. Uh, they've even 
uh, put together some cool stuff that I also have not filmed, so I can't really talk about on the channel. Very cool stuff that you're gonna see eventually. Anyway, highly recommend Iron Curtain out of Houston, Texas. You should check those guys out. Next up on my list is Halcyon Defense. Um, more specifically, Daniel Fisher at Halcyon Defense. I could talk about this guy for hours and hours. Uh, to, to give you a little bit of history on Halcyon, they're based out of Fredericksburg, Texas. Also, uh, KNS Precision is based out of Fredericksburg, and you can trace the lineage from Halcyon to KNS. If you don't know who KNS Precision is, they are a company that makes a lot of like small parts for all different kinds of platforms of gun. Uh, they're very well known for their KNS adjustable gas piston for AKs. Now, Daniel Fisher was one of the big brains that helped develop a ton of parts at KNS. He's been there for years, and uh, now he's gone on to also open a company called Halcyon Defense where he does gunsmithing. Daniel Fisher, in my opinion, is one of the most talented gunsmiths in the country today. As of 2022, he's up there. He's one of the best in the country, maybe even the world. Daniel's gonna be one of those guys that uh, kind of like how we refer to, you know, like the most well-known gunsmith in the AK world is probably Jim Fuller. I don't think anyone would deny that. Daniel's gonna be a guy like that. Um, years from now, when we talk about like when he was just starting out, Daniel is gonna be like a Jim Fuller of the AK world. And he doesn't just do AKs, he does all kinds of stuff, however, he has done really cool projects for us. He is the guy that really tuned up my Rock and Lock 556 Gen 1 Ace. Back before anyone was doing Rock and Lock conversions to Gen 1 Aces, Daniel was doing it first, and one and the one that he did for me was one of the first that anyone had ever done, and it just really kind of blew people's minds. Um, he is really a Gucci gunsmith, and I can tell you that uh, a kit that we sent to him that was probably one of the most rare, expensive things that we've ever had was the Molot RPK-74 with the, the side-folding rear trunnion. Um, OG barrel, that's not a kit that you just wanna trust with any gunsmith, and because he is so damn good, uh, that's who we trusted with it. Uh, the one caveat to Daniel I will tell you is, be, you know, the secret's out on Daniel. Everyone knows that he is now, you know, running House on Defense and he's doing gunsmithing. The second he opened his doors, his wait time instantly was like a year long. So. That's the only caveat to Daniel. He is so good and such, and he is in such high demand, you're gonna wait. But if you have that really special kit that you don't wanna just give to anyone, Daniel's my guy. He's the one that can build your one of a kind, difficult to replace kit. That's the guy I would send it to. My fifth gunsmith is someone that I've really used more than anyone else out there, and that is M13 Industries. Big Bad John at M13. John is responsible for my Draco SBR, he's responsible for my Tiger Blood AK, he's responsible for Rachel's 5.56 AK, he's responsible for doing a ton of work on my now Alpha Clone 5.56 AK, back when it was Sharknado, then it was Thanos, and now it is whatever it is now. John has done all that work to it, and not only that, he's done a ton of work for our AKX FFL with a bunch of the really cool guns in that collection. John. Uh, love you, buddy. He has done so much work for me, and I, I couldn't have asked for a better gunsmith, honestly. He's been doing work for me before anyone has. He was the first gunsmith I ever dipped my toe in the waters of like having work done. He was the first one, so I learned everything I know about how to deal with gunsmiths, how to, how to ship and receive guns, how to do the whole process. I learned with M13, and he is highly professional. Uh, the wait times are reasonable, his prices are reasonable, he's just a really good gunsmith. And I didn't tell you where he's based out of. He is based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. A lot of cool gunsmiths come out of Las Vegas and he's just another one of them. He's another really good one that has an Instagram where he documents a ton of projects. In fact, while you're waiting for years to get done, you'll probably see pictures of it before you ever get it back. He's very proud of his work, takes a lot of pictures, and uh, extremely, very highly recommended coming from me. Before I leave you, I want to talk about two honorable mentions. Um, first one on my list is Weapon Genetics, and the reason he is an honorable mention is because Cody, our resident wild man based out of Magnolia, Texas, he is well known for being, you know, like a well-rounded uh, smith, working on a ton of different stuff. Like anytime I'm at his shop, it ain't just AKs, it's every single type of gun, um, under the sun, shotguns, belt feds, AKs, ARs, pump actions, lever actions, pistols, all, all kinds of stuff. Cody can really do it all. 
So that's why I say he's an honorable mention. He, he really can do anything. He can put together a really good AK and I would definitely trust him with my work. And he has done work for us that we've been very happy with. And uh, just another Texas Smith for you. You can see Cody all over the place. Uh, go check out Weapon Genetics on Instagram. He also takes a bunch of photos and shows off his work. He's very proud of it. And I'm happy to call this guy a friend and he does really good work. I would recommend Weapon Genetics. The last gunsmith, another honorable mention, is MK3 Firearms. These guys are based out of Las Vegas, Nevada, kind of like M13. Uh, the reason that they are an honorable mention is because they are very well-known gunsmiths in the world of smithing, but not necessarily for AKs. These guys are probably the best Browning high power pistol gunsmiths in the world, the most in, in high demand. There's no one else that even comes close to the work that these guys do on high powers, however. They dabble in other things as well. They do very good work no matter what the gun is. You know, every now and again, they'll take on some work to put some AKs together. So if you can get in line, if you can somehow get in line at MK3 Firearms to have them put your AK together, do it. Jump at the opportunity. You're going to be happy with it. They do some of the best Cerakoting, you know, in the country. Uh, they've been doing Cerakote back when people really didn't even know what Cerakote was, you know, back when it was a new thing. So they've been doing it for a very long time. It's a very small operation. Wait times are gonna be long. These guys are in high demand for their pistol work. If you can get in line to do an AK, they're gonna do a really good job. So check out MK3 Firearms out of Las Vegas. That's it guys, that's all I have for you. Remember my tips on how to go about this process, how to be a good customer, and they will do very good business for you. Uh, be prepared for the wait times. That's just how it is. You don't turn your nose up if a guy says, hey, you know, don't call me in six months. I got your project. That's just the way it is with AK Smiths. Uh, really well-respected, high-demand AK Smiths are few and far between. So, you know, supply and demand, there's not that many of them, and there's a lot of us that want work done, so wait times are going to be high. You're just gonna have to get used to that. And, uh, you know, things that are worthwhile, they're worth waiting for. So that's just the way it is. If you can follow those tips and you can reach out and get a hold of some of these guys, I think you're gonna have a really good time. You know, these guys all respond to emails, whether it be, you know, regular old emails, DMs on their social media. All of these Smiths that I've talked about are pretty active on social media and I'm sure will answer a DM. Uh, the last thing I would try is calling these guys. They're all very busy, okay? They can't man phones all day. I would definitely first try emailing or reaching out via DM and they get in contact with you, be very specific, know what kind of work you want done. If you have questions, ask those questions politely and uh, be professional. And you're gonna have a really good time dealing with gunsmiths, man. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. If you found this helpful, please let me know down in the comments below if there's any other topics when it comes to AKs, maybe not just shooting them, but things like this, just tips on how to live with AKs and have work done. Ask me, I'll try to answer them as much as I can. You can go follow us on Facebook and Instagram. It's all Clayco47 everywhere you go. Go check out Third Pin Threads, get some cool swag, and we'll definitely see you next time.